Hi, everybody, and welcome once again to Ivy English. I'm Karen, and I'm Wesley. Today is May twenty sixth. Today we have a new TOEIC lesson for you. We have a letter to read. 好，今天我们有个新多义情境试题攻略。今天的主题是一个一封信。And I'm going to remind you ahead of time that this was written by a British editor or writer, because we will notice a couple British usages here, and I will tell you what the equivalent American one is when we get to it. 嗯哼，那今天这封信呢，我们可以注意到写的人呢，他使用的是英式英文啊。那因为我们可以在里面看到一些英式英文常见的一些写法或者用法。那等一下我们碰到的时候，会跟各位解释。All right, so here's our introduction, part seven, reading comprehension directions. In this part, you will read a selection of texts such as magazine and newspaper articles, letters, and advertisements. Each text is followed by several questions. Select the best answer for each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. Questions one through three refer to the following email and document. 好，那这个 directions 呃，跟我们以前看到的都完全一样，但是我们还是要提醒各位，你考试的时候还是要看一下哈，看它有没有什么不一样的地方，因为要先读懂题目，这是很重要的。任何考试最重要一点就是你要读懂那个题目。好，所以我们这个题目，他就说在这一部分呢，你会读到一个 a selection of texts 啊，你会看到一些选文，例如可能是杂志，可能是报纸的文章，可能是信件 letters 啊，或者是广告。那每一个 text。Is followed by 后面都有几个 several questions 跟着。那他要你做的是选 the best answer 最好的答案 for each question。然后呢，你要把那个呃、uh, letter 啊，看那个字母，看是 A B C 还是 D， 把它标在你的 answer sheet 你的答案卷上面，就是选出来写在你的答案卷上或者标示出来。And the first three questions are about this letter, and below it there is a table which is our document. So let's start with the letter. Now we're going to see the first giveaway that it's British at the beginning. Or it's not a hundred percent, but to me, it shouts out British. So from Jillian Vaughn, and then there's an email address, jvaughn at pmail dot com. I don't think there's a pmail, but there could be, I guess. Now, why does that look British? Because the name Jillian is pretty common in Britain, but not in the U.S. as far as I know. Hmm. 好，那这个 Jillian 这个字呢？比较常在英国听到，就英国人叫 Jillian 的比较多哈，美国人比较少叫这个名字，所以这个让我们觉得，哎，这个感觉蛮 British 的。Vaughn also looks British, but this is actually fairly common in the U.S. as well. Okay, next we have our recipient. Recipient is the person who's receiving the letter. To with a colon. 然后呢，后面的都是呃左边对齐 ，but then the email, the the computer will take care of that for you. The email program will do that, and it says service desk. That's the person who's going to receive this email, and the address is service at spaceagecellstorage dot com. 好，那这个他写给谁呢？写给服务台。好，这个对象是服务台。当然，这也可能是人的名字啊，不过应该是指那个服务台了。Yeah, and so we don't know who it will be because there are probably many different people who will be、uh, responsible for replying to these emails. So service desk is just their department.、Mm-hmm. Ne- next is date February fifteenth. Now this is American because if it were British usage, they'd put fifteenth first, fifteen February, but they wrote February fifteenth. So this is actually this one has a mixed style. Hmm. Now this. February 写在前面，然后十五写在后面，这个其实是美式的写法。如果英式的写法的话，啊，它会这个十五会写在前面。Right, our subject, which is our 主旨 is storage unit cancellation. Now, I'm going to、uh, point out something that a lot of Taiwanese don't seem to know, and that is, for our subject, please use a noun phrase. Don't use a verb phrase. I'll give you、uh, contrasting examples. You should say, and this is what we have here: storage unit cancellation. Now you can see that the head here, 就是被修饰的那个字，它是一个名词。So storage unit cancellation 变成一个复合名词。The whole thing is a noun. 嗯哼，好，那各位要注意到，在这个主题这个地方呢，英文的 email 的主题部分，你应该用名词或者是名词片语。像这个地方，这个 storage unit。Cancellation 啊，就是一个名词片语，它是个复合名词啊。那最重要的是那个 cancellation， 这是核心名词，就是取消。那什么的取消？这个 storage unit 啊，你要把它取消。所以这个这个整个是一个名词片语啊 ，storage unit cancellation。What you should not write is 
cancel storage unit because then it becomes a mingling ju, and that is not suitable for the subject. Your title should be some kind of a noun or noun phrase. Don't say cancel storage unit. That is a verb phrase. Hmm. 好，那如果你你写成、uh, cancel storage unit 啊，那 cancel 变成一个动词，那变成动词片语，那而且感觉起来是个命令句啊，好像这个看起来就很凶啊。我看到 subject 是，你给我给它取消掉。Right,、yeah. and if you were going to kind of antagonize somebody already in the subject line, yeah, you may have trouble doing what it is you want to do, or you might get charged more, or may not get very fast service. Yeah, 那你如果用动词片语的话，这一开始。在主题这个主题栏，你就让对方觉得说我在告诉你要干什么。那这样的话，对方就觉得啊，他可能就有抗拒感，他可能觉得不爽啊。那对于你要达成的目标，可能就会造成损害。That's right. So please keep that in mind. And I think pretty much, I couldn't say a hundred percent, but I know among my students, it's extremely common that they will just. Use some kind of a verb phrase. For example, ask for a favor is inappropriate. 好，所以这个我自己也有经验啊。Karen 老师也有很多经验。学生有时候写写 email 来的时候，他那个 subject 就英英文就是，例如说最常见的 ask for a favor， 这个是不对的哈、啊。你应该是要用一个名词片语。That's right. If you still want to keep the original sentence, you could say asking for a favor. That's okay because that's a noun. 哎，那你如果说，哎，这个好像 ask for a favor， 好像不容易转成名词，那你至少可以把它变成一个动名词片语，好，就 asking for a favor， 啊，这样的话就好一点了。Or requesting would be more polite。嗯，那用 requesting 会更更客气一点，哈， requesting a favor。嗯哼 ，OK， so please keep that in mind。It doesn't seem to be well known in Taiwan。Here's our letter hi and a comma。This is OK。It's very informal。We're getting more and more informal over email these days、mm.。So it just starts with hi comma， and、uh, so you don't have to say dear Mr. Smith。It's gotten a little too stuffy。S T U F F Y S T U F F Y。That means 有点太闷了，不要那么闷，那么拘谨。I, I would translate as Jujin, so we just say hi.、Mm-hmm. All right. In our first paragraph, I have been hiring one of your self storage units for over a year. Now, here is the main giveaway that this is a mainly probably written by a Brit. We don't say hiring for things in America. We hire people. For example, I've just hired a new assistant. Or I've just hired somebody new in PR or whatever it is. You hire people is 雇佣的意思 but in Britain you hire a car. In America we call it rent. So what they mean here in America is rent. I have been renting. So pay attention to that difference. It's a big one. Hmm. 好，所以要注意啊。他说 I have been hiring. 啊，这 hire 在这里其实是租用的意思。嗯哼。那这个是。英式英文的用法，美式英文这个地方就会用 rent 啊这个动词。好，在美国，在美式英文里面 ，hire 通常是 hire 人啊。那如果租用东西是用 rent 啊。那在 British English 里面，你也可以直接 hire， 它可以是租，可以是聘用，都可以。哎、right. ，呀，所以呢，我呃一直有租用你们的一个这个 self storage units， 就是这个呃自助式的仓库。那 for over a year 已经超过一年的时间了，所以已经租了超过一年了。It is unit number sixty two. 好，然后接下来呢，告诉你说是单位啊，这六十二号的这一个 unit， 这一个单位啊，就是我租了这仓库是六十二号仓库。On March first, I will move into a new home. Again, that's an American usage. In British or in general European usage, it would be on one March, but here it's American. On March first. I will move into a new home. 好，那这个地方一样是这个美式英文的日期写法，所以在三月一号这一天呢，我会搬到一个新家。I will move. 那注意那个介系是 into 啊，这个因为感觉起来是住进去嘛，迁入，哎、啊，迁入啊，所以跟中文一样啊，你搬入、迁入，所以是 into。好，所以我会搬到一个新家。It has a large basement and double garage. Therefore, I will no longer need to rent the unit. 那这个新家呢，有一个很大的地下室啊。那地下室在美国常常就变，会会变，慢慢就会变成一个仓库啊，这个储藏室了啊。那而且还有一个 double garage， 就是有双车位的车库啊。那美国也是一样，他们很多房子都是有车库，但是车库到后来成可能会变成堆放东西的地方。其实台湾也是一样，台湾很多人如果是他有室内自己的一个一个独立的车库的话，里面常常也会放一些东西。That's right, and I have some words of advice. 
don't do it. Don't mm. store stuff there. And do not rent a storage unit because you're going to be paying money every month. You're paying yeah. out money for something you're not using. And what usually happens is by the time that you, you know, find that you want to stop renting that storage space, you find that you're not interested in that stuff anymore because you've already lived eight years without it. You don't need it. Yeah. 好，那这个把东西放到个人仓库里面呢，这个有一个危险，就是你如果放在那边，那你又不常去碰它的话，其实你是在花钱租空间，放一些你不需要的东西。Right. 因为东西如果说你常常要用的话，你就不会把它放到仓库里面去。Exactly. 啊，所以这个是一种思考方式啊，所以呃，尽量不要有些东西，其实你不要了就把它丢了就好了，或者是送人啊。你如果丢了很可惜，你就送人。Or you can sell it. 呀，或者把这个很大家都很会上网去卖东西，你就卖二手东西上上网去把它卖掉啊，这样的话呢，这个也比较环保一点啊。你自己一个人堆那么多东西，那有的时候像其实时间会过得很快哈、啊。像我年轻的时候觉得说，嗯嗯哦，这东西我好喜欢，这本书我好喜欢，我通通买起来。哎，可是转眼之间二三十年过去了，那再再想一想，哎呦，你在这个世界上可能也在大概就是在几十年而已，那一下也会过去的。所以总有一天这些东西你会慢慢发现啊，也许不需要了。Which Wesley and I are now having to face up to. Yeah, 啊，我我跟 Karen 老师都是一样，我们有太多的书啊。那现在这个呃，要想办法处理这些书啊，所以。Yeah. 不只是书啊，任何你在生命里面 accumulate 的东西，各位发现，你到某一个生命阶段的时候，你会开始要简化，哎，把一些东西慢慢要处理掉。所以最好的办法就是一开始你就不要累积。That's right.、嗯、so Marie Kondo is now very, very popular in the U.S. 哦，她是个显然是帮你怎么样 ？Does she teach you how to get away things, get rid of things? In in Chinese, you call it 断。断舍离吗？哦，断舍离。That's yeah. That's Japanese, I think. She's Japanese. Ah,、oh. condo is the Japanese word for condominium or、oh. apartment, right?、Uh-huh. And so she she uses this name for her service, and she's very very big now, extremely popular in the U.S. And she doesn't even speak much English.、Ooh. She lectures around with an interpreter. She's written books, and people、mm-hmm. are now spending a lot of money to get a consultant in to help them sort through their stuff and to、mm-hmm. reduce. Yeah. Yeah, so she's really popular. This is Duan Shili. So we are trying to simplify, and I really encourage you to do it earlier rather than later. Yeah. One way to imagine it is to pretend that you have to move next year.、Mm, Just imagine、yeah. you're going to have to move next year, and、mm-hmm. it's going to be very, very painful if you don't get rid of some of the stuff you're not using,、mm-hmm. or if you're older. Remind, remember that when you go, we're all going to die.、Mm-hmm. You're going to leave that mess for your kids. Do you、yeah. want to do that to your kids? Yeah, 好，所以这个东西你堆很多啊，那你你有一个很好的办法，就是你幻想，你就假设一下，你明年啊就要搬家了。Yeah， 那你就要想有哪些东西我现在其实不需要。Yeah. 那另外一个很简单的原则就是，如果你发现这东西已经几年没有去碰它了，那就表示你不需要。Right. right. Yeah， 所以就尽量断舍离啊。那刚刚这个 Karen 老师讲，在美国现在有一个专家，断舍离的专家。靠这个也可以赚钱，好，所以也表示很多人有这个需求。大家都觉得现在被物质压的啊，不只是你买东西的压力，还有你存放东西的压力。大家都觉得那个东西是个压力。各位其实可以试试看，如果你把你一些不要的东西丢掉，你其实心情会轻松。That's right.、Yeah. You feel sort of like you suddenly have a wide open space to do what you want to do instead of feeling closed in by your stuff. Yeah. 所以这个地方，他他现在买这个大房子有一个危险，就是 yeah. 它地方大了，它可能就会放更多的东西。Right. 那将来可能就发现更多更难处理的东西啊。不过 ，anyway， 他这里说、yes. 他要搬到新家了，所以呢，他说我不再需要 ，I will no longer need to rent the unit。我不再需要租这个呃储放的空间了。At least he is not leaving the problem, or she is not leaving the problem for somebody else. Because what often happens is, for example, the person dies,、mm-hmm. and so they have to auction off the stuff. Yeah. Or maybe they have to find out who is actually going to inherit the stuff.、Mm-hmm. Or another thing that happens is some people they lose their job and they can't pay the rent anymore, and、mm-hmm. they also have to auction off the stuff. Hmm. Yeah. So he, 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 No, what I was saying, if you lose your job, you can't afford it anymore. Yeah, yeah. 或者是你这个呃，刚像跟 Karen 老师讲，你如果工作丢了啊，那你没有办法再租这个空间了，那你这些东西还是要处理的。Yeah, and they will auction it off. Yeah, 通常就把它拍卖掉了。Right. 
Okay, next paragraph. On the contract that I signed, I agreed to pay the monthly fee of $165 on the 25th of each month. That's a lot of money to be paying for stuff you're not using. <laughs> yeah, so it's all 在我签的那个合约上面啊。On the contract that I signed, I agreed to. 啊，故意注意这里用的是过去式，因为就是你在签合约的当时，你同意这件事情了。I agreed. 啊，我要同意什么呢 ？I agreed to pay 支付 the monthly fee of 就是每个月支付多少钱。那各位注意这个习惯用法 ，to pay the monthly fee of 多少多少钱。啊，所以我请我同意支付这笔钱啊，在怎么样 ？On the twenty fifth of each month， 每月二十五日，我同意支付这笔钱。那这这个像这种句子啊，各位你把它背起来，因为这个可以说是以后你反正我同意每个月几月几日支付这笔钱，你就是这样子说法。Think of how long you could eat on five thousand NT dollars. Yeah, 那美金一百六十五块，差不多。Mm, yeah, right. Yeah, 这个台币差不多五千块嘛。你可以想想，哇，你花五千块去租一个空，这一个放东西的空间。那你可以想想，五千块你可以拿来吃,吃多久、啊？对啊，吃多久 yeah. ？Yeah, that's what I first think of. All right, I also paid a one hundred sixty-five dollar deposit. 好，那我也付支付一百六十五块钱的啊美金啊的 deposit 定金啊，就是一个月的租金当做定金。Our last paragraph. I would like to know if I can vacate the storage unit on March first and pay for an additional week. 好，我想要知道我可不可以哈。I would like to know if 我可不可以 I can vacate. 在这里是动词啊，就是这个清空的意思啊。所以我跟他们清空这个 storage unit， 这个我的这个储藏空间，在三月一号这个清空。然后呢？因为他是二十每个月二十五号要付租金嘛，那三月一号等于是晚了一个礼拜，所以他说我可以在三月一号再清空，然后呢 ，pay for an additional week， 再支付多出来就是只支付这一周就好，而不是再付整个月的租金。And it's probably not going to work. If this is not possible, I will vacate the unit on the day the payment is due and find an alternate storage solution for the week before the move. 那如果这是没有办法做到的话 ，if this is not possible， 如果这不可能的话呢，我会清空这个 unit on the day， 在那一天哪一天呢 ？The payment is due， 就是该付款的那一天，我会把它清空，也就是二十五号那天，我会把它清空。然后呢，我会找一个 alternate。好 ，alternate 这个字呢，它可以是动词，也可以是形容词，在这也就是形容词。Right. If it's a if it's a verb, it's pronounced differently. You'll have to say alternate. They alternate every other week, or if it is a 形容词 alternate here, then we pronounce it as it alternate. 好，那这个当形容词使用的时候呢，它的意思是替代的意思啊。例如说，这个啊，你可能因为某个紧急情况啊，这个飞机呢 landed at an alternate airport 啊，就它平常它不是它原来预定要去的那个，而是一个替代的一个 airport。好，那所以这个呃，或者是这个路不通，你就可以 take an alternate route 或者 route 啊，所以你就走了一条替代道路，那都可以用这一个字啊。那事实上，这个字有的时候啊，有的人他是用 alternative 啊，跟他的意思是一样的啊。alternative 就 a l t e r n a t i v e 啊，所以意思一样。所以他说，如果不行的话呢，我会搬搬走，然后找一个替代的一个 storage solution 一个。储存的一个解决方式，好，就 for the week before the move， 就是在他搬家之前的那个礼拜，也就多出来那个礼拜，我自己会想办法。那其实看到这个信，我觉得啊，这个他感觉起来就是他连这个退路都想好了，所以可能要是我是这个呃这个 service desk 的人，我就直接说啊，那不行，不行，因为你已经讲了你的退路啊，所以你如果真的要说啊，想办法要跟他 negotiate 的话，你可能要。提供一些啊、呃，这个例如说，你要先讲你你非常 desperate 啊。I have no other place to put this stuff. Yeah， 那那甚至于你可以 offer 说啊，那我或者我付你半个月的啊。Yeah, 那 it's a little more generous. 对，因为我们等下会看到它底下的这个公告里面，其实已经跟你讲了，你不可以这样，你就是 That's right. 你多一天就是要付一个月，所以你现在你说我可不可以就付一个礼拜？那个对方会觉得说你这太夸张，太小气。小气 yeah. 你你 offer 一下，哎，我只需要一个礼拜，可是我付你两个礼拜，可不可以？ Yeah, yeah, but they still may say no.、Mm-hmm. So be ready.、Yeah. All right, we're going to read through the table at the bottom of the page. This is the so-called document that we referred to earlier. Space Age self storage open nine a.m. to five thirty p.m. seven days per week. Current storage space contracts. 
。好，所以就是这个显然是他们这个公司的名称 Space Age 啊，那它是这个自自动仓储呃自助仓储，所以每个礼拜开七天，早上九点到下午五点半。那目前 Current 就现行的 Storage、uh, Storage Space Contract 现行的这个呃储存空间的合约。Or Fang An is Fang really an. what it is.、Mm-hmm. All right, so we have contract numbers in the left-hand column. They're not very interesting. So contract number 大写的 N O 点 Then we have S S U four forty six, four forty seven, four forty eight, forty nine. We don't need to explain that. Next in the next column, we have the unit type. So that is the how large your space is, and also how good the security needs to be. Well, here no, it's mainly about security, and so we have low security, high security, and two medium securities, and then we have size, which is small, large, small, large, with different levels of security. Hmm. 好，所以 unit type 就是它的安全性怎么样哈 ？Low security 就是安全性比较差，这个 high security 就是安全性很好。那 medium 就是安全性在中等，普通，普通、mm-hmm. ，Yeah. And the cost per month varies from fifty five dollars to one hundred sixty five dollars for the high security large one, eighty five dollars for the small one with medium security, and a hundred ten dollars for a large one with medium security. 嗯哼，好的，各种不同的价钱。And then the due date is the twelfth, the twenty fifth, the first, the third. So each one has a different due date. And then here we have a little、uh, asterisk. That means there's a note at the bottom that you better pay attention to. Storage units are only available for one month blocks. Ah,、哦、所以这一讲 one month blocks 就是一块一块是一个月一个月一块，也就是说你为单位为单位，你每次以一个、yeah. 一个月为单位啊。Are only available. 然后呢，以一个月为单位。And the next note with an asterisk is vacating storage rooms must be completed by the end of office hours on the date payment is due. No exceptions. Ah,、oh, so very strict. No exceptions. 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 By the end of office hours, 就是下班前，所以各位注意，下班前英文就是 by the end of office hours， 所以一定要完成，在下班前完成，在哪一天的下班前完成呢？在这个 the date payment is due， 就是你该付钱的那一天下班前，你一定要完成清空你的这个呃仓储空间啊。那 no exceptions， 没有例外。I guess 他们不信邪。<laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they didn't just didn't believe what they wrote, and in parentheses now. Failure to vacate storage units on time will result in payment being automatically deducted for an additional month's hire. In American, we would say rent. Oh, so failure to 就是你如果失败，你如果没有做到啊，这个呃清空你的仓储空间 on time， 你如果没有准时清空你的仓储空间的话 ，will result in 它结果啊会是什么呢？是 payment 你的付款呢会 being automatically deducted。你的付款会被自动扣款 ，deducted 就扣款。那那 for an additional month higher， 就是他就假设你会再租一个月，所以再租一个月的这个款项，他就会直接扣掉。因为所以他说是这个你要付款的那一天嘛，你如果那一天呃下班前没有清空的话，那他就假设你会再租一个月，他就直接扣款了。That's a disadvantage of credit cards because they've got you. Yeah， 那如果用信用卡自动扣款，就会有这个问题。All right， three short questions. One. Why did Ms. Vaughn send the email? 好，那第一个问题是为什么她寄的这一封 email? The answer is C to cancel a storage unit. 答案是 C 啊，她要取消一个仓储空间。Two, what is mentioned about Ms. Vaughn's new house? 那关于她的新家有谈到什么呢？有提到什么呢 ？The answer is D. It has a large storage space. 啊，答案是这个 D， 它有很大的呃储存空间。And finally, three, what type of storage space does Ms. Vaughn rent? 那他所租用的仓储空间是什么样的空间呢 ？The answer is B, large, high security. 好，那答案是 B， 它是大的这个空间，而且是高安全的一个空间。Okay, and everybody, start cleaning out your house. You'll thank yourself for it later. That's it for today. We'll see.